Brian Seger again, certified personal trainer and baby boomer fitness expert, where today I'm gonna to talk about five exercises that women can do over the ages of 50 and 60 to shape and tone your body. Now the reason why I'm gonna give you these five exercises, because as my 15 years of being a personal trainer, I've pretty much seen everything in the big box gym, and I've, I've heard almost everything from people online, comments, or even people who come to me to become clients that are frustrated because their body hasn't changed. Either one, they're um, using exercises that are ineffective for them, not giving them the best bang for their buck, but also maybe having a trainer that is just in the industry passing through, where it's somebody like myself who's been taking a lot of pride in being a personal trainer uh, for the last 15 years and having my own gym here in Vancouver, Washington. So I want you to get the benefit from these exercises so you can transform and live a better life. Um, before we go into these exercises, um, exercises don't work unless you exercise and put them to work. So to inspire you, the first uh, 50 people who leave a comment, I'm gonna randomly pick one person. And what I wanna see down in the comment section is which exercise that you like the best of these five that, um, and, and why that you like it. And then I'll randomly pick one person. I'll probably have one of my uh, team members or, uh, or trainers uh, pick out the best comment comment and I will send you this wonderful zip up. Now we don't sell this zip up online um, so you're going to be one of a very uh, rare person who's going to have this zip up. We only carry them in club here so um, I look forward to seeing that comment. All right let's hop right into those exercises. The first one we're going to have you do is a kettlebell deadlift. Uh, it's a great overall total body exercise that's going to translate to your everyday life so one you're going to be more functionally fit but it's also going to work a lot of muscle groups it's going to work everything from your hamstrings your glutes your upper back muscles your triceps your your grip strength your upper back so absolutely love this exercise the most crucial thing of doing this exercise is picking a weight that you can do comfortably with good form so always focus on form first so when we do this exercise you're going to go feet, uh, you can go feet um, a little wider than shoulder width apart, turn your toes out, it seems to take pressure um, off the knees. What you're going to do is you're going to press your hips back, and my hips, uh, I have a nice uh, angle on my back there, nice and flat. What you're going to do is you're gonna grab the dumbbell, you're then going to get, you're going to slightly pull up, okay, you're not going to explode up. What you're going to do is you get tension, okay, you're going to feel the tension in your glutes, Tight. You're going to tighten the low back up a little bit, and what you're going to do is you're going to pull that dumbbell through your hips. Lower, under control. You're going to go through the middle of your uh, feet and your heels. You're going to press through the floor. Press through the floor, get that tension, and then pull through. Two. Deep breath in, and then exhale. All right. So um, when starting out with this program, you can actually, if you're strapped for time or you just want to do these five exercises, you could pick two days a week just to do this program or three days a week and just master these five movements. So a progression that you could use is say week one, you could go 15 to 20 reps of this exercise and you could do two to three rounds. And say you did that for four to six weeks. What you can do is stay with these ba five base exercises and then you can come back to them and actually bring the rep ranges down. You can do 12 to 15 rep, uh, uh, reps with a little bit higher intensity, meaning taking that intensity from a six to a seven to a seven to an eight. And then do that for four to six weeks and then you can then incorporate uh, the same exercises again, but then bring your rep ranges from 10 to 12 and then bring the intensity up and you will absolutely love the results that come with that. Let's go to this second exercise that I really enjoy uh, for women over 50 and 60. It's called the split squat. And the reason why I like the split squat so much is people are usually extremely tight in their hips. This exercise is great for stretching out the hip flexor. The second thing um, and why it's so beneficial to do this exercise over uh, 50 and 60 is that it's going to help you with your balance and it's going to help you with your gait. So we're going to take a bench here. You're going to start off feet shoulder width apart. What you're going to do is you're going to step up. Chest is nice and tall. You're going to lower on a count of three. Um, the goal, full range of motion, is hamstring the calf. Press through that heel middle of your foot and then back up. Now, if you don't have that range of motion, you're still getting the mobility in your quads and your hips, what you're going to do is just go through your range of motion and then back. 
If you need to work on balance, use yourself a bench, or you can step away from the bench as you progress and start to, in, uh, as your imbalance starts to improve, use it without the bench, shoulders nice and tall, lowering down under control, and then back up. Emphasis with this exercise, start with your less dominant leg, match those repetitions with the other side. If you haven't heard that in my other videos, what you'd want to do is then say, say my right side was my less dominant side, and I could only do 12 reps, but then I go to my left side, and I could do 20 reps. You only want to match that with 12 reps until the other leg catches up, say, could do those 20 reps also. So keep that in mind. Third exercise is a uh, dumbbell incline press. I'm going to grab my dumbbells here. Um, the reason why I like the incline dumbbell press is uh, uh, one of the top goals. Like every time I sit down with somebody or talk with somebody over the phone and we talk about um, what are your goals? So it's like I want to lean up, I want to tone up, uh, lose this body fat, I just want to feel better. Uh, another goal is, hey, I just want to have some upper body strength because I noticed, you know, I went to the store, I couldn't carry the groceries. Um, you know, I tried to do, uh, carry my, uh, you know, my kid or my grand uh, kid and I struggle with that. So um, incline dumbbell press, it's a great exercise uh, to build upper body strength. The other reason why I like the incline dumbbell press is that um, as we age, there is a lot more tightness and restriction in the shoulder area. So a lot of shoulder presses aren't the best exercise because of that mobility. The incline dumbbell press allows you to work your shoulders and also build that upper body strength. So you're gonna lie back, you're gonna have your palms facing each other, and then you're gonna press straight up. You're gonna breathe out, deep breath in, and then exhale. Deep breath in, and then exhale. Great exercise for that upper body, those uh, shoulders, uh, those triceps, the chest. All right, next one, we're gonna do a neutral grip pull down. I love the neutral grip pro down, pull down because it works not only your back, you incorporate um, your arms in this and it helps out with your grip strength. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a hold, you're gonna find yourself a V handle. Um, you're gonna grab a hold of each one of these, uh, each side, you're gonna have a seat. Your chest is gonna be tall, you're gonna look straight ahead, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down through your elbows, bring your shoulder blades down and back, deep breath in, and then exhale, breathing out on the way down. There you go, pulling through the elbows, breathing out, shoulder blades down and back. All right, there's your neutral grip pull down, and then the last one is a single leg RDL. Single leg RDL, as you know, it's great for a hip hinge. Um, so it helps with your hip mobility, helps with hamstring mobility, and then also helps with balance. So starting with this exercise, you can use a bench for balance or you can step away. So we just um, grab a hold of the bench, slight bend in the knee. You're gonna drive that hip back. Uh, you, wanna have a five, you wanna have about a five to 15 degree bend in that knee. So it's like right about there. And the first thing that happens in that movement is you're pressing that hip back, feel the hamstring stretch, and then pull back through. Now, work through your range of motion. So that's mine, but if your hamstrings are really tight and you're just, you're right here, that's fine. That's perfectly fine because you're going to develop that flexibility over time. So those are my five uh, favorite exercises uh, for women over 50 and 60 to do that's gonna transform your body. Down below, uh, I can't wait to see who leaves the best comment. Make sure you flex on that like button by pressing the like button so you can share this with other women out there that are over uh, 40, 50, and 60 so that they can transform their bodies. You guys have a great day.